But even though the farmer's market season may seem far away, local growers are already starting to take action in order to provide for the community. Sarah Winkleman joins us live now in our Brainerd studio with more. Sarah? Thanks, Dennis. Now, Sprout in Little Falls held a Greenhouse 101 session tonight to help inform local growers on the use of greenhouses in this central Minnesota climate. Dibblers for marking spots for our seeds, propagation mats to, to create heat underneath the, the seeds to help things germinate. Local farmer Joan Olson is sharing about some of the necessary tools that best prepare her plants in the greenhouse. We find it really important to educate the up and coming generation of farmers as well. That's just what she is doing by sharing her knowledge on the topic of greenhouses. How we um, build our greenhouse, how we manage it, how we get healthy transplants out into our farm. A useful skill for any farmer in the region. For us in Minnesota to grow um, our vegetable farms, we have to usually use greenhouses to do enough starts um, and do our own transplants on our farms. In attendance tonight was Tom from Brainerd, who is hoping to soon start his own farm. Going to be slowly getting into vegetables and fruits and vine crops. With a final goal to help feed the community. We'll see how it goes and we're going to start small and hopefully over a course of two to four years that we'll have be able to feed a lot of people. With the same healthy goal is Eleanor Rogan Camp, who owns Burn and Daylight Ranch near Wadena. I believe in um, organic gardening and production and just organic lifestyle like 100%. So I think the healthier we can be and the more we can help our community, it's just, yeah, it's good all the way around. By starting with greenhouses and working towards how to build a bigger business. But there's not a lot of education for small growers on how to scale up. Until now, that is, to help the local growers and in turn, help our local economy. Every time that we can help our growers uh, do a little bit better on their farms and their bottom line, uh, those dollars stay in our community. The more we can buy local, the better our local economies do. During this time of year, local growers are already starting to prepare their greenhouses and they will begin the growing process in the coming weeks. Dennis? All right, thank you very much, Sarah, for that live report from our Brainerd Studios tonight. This was the second Greenhouse 101 workshop held at Sprout Marketplace in Little Falls. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.